Let's dive into the incredible story of Jessa Coulter, born as Miriam Johnson on May 25, 1943, in Phoenix, Arizona. Growing up surrounded by music, she explored gospel, country, and classical genres, with her mom teaching her to play the piano. Her early performances happened in church, setting the stage for her musical journey. As a teenager, she joined local bands, and at 17, she married fellow musician Duane Eddy. Together, they headed to Los Angeles to chase their musical dreams. A game-changer came when she met producer Lee Hazelwood, who encouraged her to go solo. Taking on the stage name Jessica Coulter, her debut album, A Country Star is Born, hit the scene in 1970, earning her well-deserved praise in the country music world. In the mix of all this, Jess's life intertwined with Waylon Jennings, and they tied the knot in 1969. Their musical collaboration produced hits like Honky Tonk Heroes, 1973, and the groundbreaking Wanted, The Outlaws, 1976, the first ever platinum certified country album. Their duet, Storms Never Last, 1981, soared on country charts. Jess's solo career took off with the release of the hit single, I'm Not Lisa, in 1975. Her songwriting and powerful delivery made it a top five country hit and a top 10 pop hit. Despite personal challenges, including addiction, Jessie faced recovery head on in the 1990s, becoming an advocate for addiction recovery and mental health awareness. In the later years, she reconnected with Waylon Jennings until this passing in 2002. Jesse's 2017 album, The Psalms, received critical acclaim, showcasing her enduring musical talent. Today, Jessica Coulter stands tall as a trailblazer and respected figure in the country music community, leaving a lasting impact on generations of musicians. 